hey guys so today i'm going to show you a procedure to create these kinds of you know diagrams with the help of chat gpt in couple of minutes now before this technology and before this procedure i used to take a lot of time to create these things because you have to do all this manually but now i'm going to show you how you can do it really really fast with the help of chat gpt so let's just come here and uh, let me just show you the procedure so first let me describe this really simple chart this is the chart to steps to drive a car right so what are the steps you have to take to drive a car this is really simple so this is how the whole thing is started you have to put these prompts simple mind map to whatever you want to do let's just let me just give you another one so i'm going to edit this simple mind maps to make t all right let's so this is basically giving us in the coding form but uh, you can convert it into simple text mind map all right so this is basically it's it is giving us in some sort of a coding format but no problem it's not necessarily uh, very difficult to do right now so we are going to use it as it is so it is not going to look like this if you give it in other you know let me show you in new chat because as you guys must already know chat gpt remember the previous given commands and it most of the time look at this the format is changed now because i was basically discussing coding with the chat gpt and uh, that's why it started giving me replies like that but now this is how a simple text mind map looks all right for whatever you want so this is for making tea uh, we can use some other ones too for making whatever right so let's just come here we are going to put a prompt here convert it in a plant uml code format all right let's see so it is writing down the code and uh, what it is basically doing is it is converting it into a particular programming language that will help us in the particular code that will help us to create these kinds of chart right so i'm going to delete this one and this is draw dot io right so let me just draw dot io you search it on google draw dot io this is diagrams dot net you don't have to write draw dot io you can just go with diagrams dot net and you click here product i use the domain as you can see so it may take some time to open sometimes uh, because of my browser for whatever reason so i have already opened one design let me show you here all right so let just it's open now we're going to go with this blank diagram and uh, tutorials for tuto and we are going to just type here then we are going to go to arrange insert advanced plant uml so the this is the code that let me just come here so this is the code that i have copied from here all right so what we are going to do is we're going to put just insert and here is all right so hold on let me just all right so here it is so this is how it looks what we can do here is then we can just export it i prefer png but png's quality sometimes not that great so you can export it as svg svg's quality is never an issue because it's not really works like that because you can zoom in as much as you want to an s to svg and it will work. all right 
so this is how it is boil water and all that choose tea prepare tea so this is this is all right this chart is okay you can do even more complex stuff so let me show you even more complex code all right so let's come here simple mind map to plan my studies for gre exams all right so this is now here it is the next is we are going to go to the same prompt convert it into a into a plant uml code format all right press enter now copy the code i'm going to come here i'm going to go to arrange insert advanced plant uml this one this I'm gonna insert and here it is all right we are going to export it again svg export download Now we're going to just drag and drop and here it is All right so you can see this is the kind of chart that it has created for us you can do a lot of things with this code so I will be showing more advanced techniques to basically you can do a lot of things with this code so this is basically you can change you can arrange it you can text you can just style it so it's pretty great there's one more way to do it and it is basically by using mermaid convert it in a mermaid code i think this will be sufficient for this tutorial though because it will be another way to create charts and uh, i will be sharing in the upcoming videos so keep an eye for that and uh, that's all there is to it so thanks for watching guys thank you